What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all having a great day. A uh, great start to your weekend, Friday. I'm here, I'm out here in Oklahoma and we have a major cold front coming uh, for the first time this year. It's going to get like 18 degrees tomorrow morning and I can't believe I let this happen. I really dropped the ball on this. Um, like a lot of y'all probably know, we've been busy with the house build and I've just been putting this off, putting it off, putting it off and was not prepared for this cold front coming in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, usually this is full of wood. It's just piled of wood split wood ready to burn and i have hardly any there's none right here and i'll take you up on the front porch and show you what i got now i'm gonna take you up here and show you just how much wood i got left uh, for the winter now i did have some rounds and i'll show you guys here in a minute what i'm talking about yeah let me let me show you just how much wood we got left i have right at maybe a quarter of a rick this is all the wood i have left from last year that's nice and seasoned that's ready to burn not very much. This whole thing filled up is a little over a rick, uh, maybe like a rick and a half. Um, so I got like a quarter. But I did have a bunch of rounds cut um, last year. That's been uh, that's been seasoning over the winter, last winter into the summer until now. And me and my brother actually went and got a truckload of. Hey, what's up, Vince? We got a truckload ready to split. Bought a new split and mall. I'm gonna do a little review on that. And I got my old one over there. And I got my nephew Aiden. What's up, Aiden? Aiden's gonna help us stack wood. Um, we're gonna show you splitting a little bit of this wood, and then I'm gonna start the fire. I'm gonna start the fire for the first time this year in the buck stove, and I'll show you all that too after we do a little bit of this splitting the wood. All right, hope you guys enjoy the video. You hear that in the background? We got the wood splitter going. We actually have a wood splitter. Um, it's an old splitter. It was actually leaking a little bit of oil last year and I never messed with it. Uh, so we'll see how long it'll work. If not, we'll go back to the splitting mall. I'm gonna turn this off. You see, it's just leaking pouring out right there. Oh, we'll fix that. Yeah, we'll have to get that fixed. There's all our hydraulic fluids coming out. Not good. We'll go back to just splitting the old fashioned way. Get us, me and Vincent, get us a little exercise in. How's that new mall working? Pretty good, pretty good. Cool, cool. We'll probably just trade off here and do some stuff. Yeah. Let's see, I did about 12 of these. Let's see you do 12. And Yeah, but I'm talking about like, think about people who built their own houses like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then after they built their own house out of wood, they, they, built, their, they built their wood. sister's house and then they built their mom's house. Yeah. Hurry up, Aiden, we're catching up with you.
I'm gonna open up my damper. Always make sure your damper is open before you start a fire for sure. Uh, this first time this has been open since last year. You know, I'm surprised I don't have very much, uh, I don't have more ashes in here, that's good. I don't gotta do any maintenance cleaning in there. Now one of the first things I always do is I'll light a piece of paper and I'll get this uh, stove pipe heated up a little bit. That way I can get a good draft going. Um, I recommend doing that, especially if it's been sitting um, all summer and spring and, and fall and you're just now starting one, uh, make sure you get that stove pipe nice and heated. It's always worked well for me. And I'll just show you guys getting the fire going for the first time this year. In the house is going up the stovepipe, so that's good. Just that little bit will we'll heat it enough to get the good draft going. And as soon as that burns out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my fire fire ready. I'm gonna use some uh, petroleum uh, fire starters that I made. I usually don't do this, but since I had them uh, in my survival kit just right over there, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, this will just let the flame burn a little bit longer, but I'll still put my uh, I'll still put my newspaper in there and get it going. All it is is Vaseline on cotton balls. I just do a basic stack in there, and then as it catches. I'll add some more. More wood to it. And I'll go ahead and close this door all the way, maybe about an inch. That way it gets a good draft going in, in the door right there and up out the, out the chute and it will really get that fire going here pretty soon. All right, I got the fire going. I haven't got it going really good yet. I'm waiting, I'm gonna let it catch on fire a little bit better in there. <coughs> I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on. We, <coughs> we did get a little bit more wood cut. Let's look at it. Not a whole lot of wood, not near enough, uh, but we just had that little bit. Aiden stacked all this up right here after we were splitting it and all that. So we got enough to last a weekend at least. That will probably last, that'll last well over the weekend uh, for this little cold snap to, to pass through, but then we can really get to splitting wood. Um, this new splitting mall I got works all right. You guys can see us in the video. I got to get my wood splitter uh, fixed because it just uh, it just makes more way more sense to use a wood splitter. Obviously, you can see we we still got a little bit to split, and I got a lot more in the woods I need to go get. I split all this last year, like I said. I didn't split. I mean, I cut all this last year, like I said earlier. Um, had it ready to ready to split this uh, fall. I'll do. A, I'm probably gonna do a video on that compared to that one see which one works better I just bought that one it's like 50 bucks it's got a lot bigger head on it compared to this one but yeah if you guys have been following me last couple years uh, during winter you'll know I bought, I bought this wood splitter over here for like 200 bucks um, it's old but it, it works awesome it's never met a piece of wood it hasn't been able to split but it's got a leak on it and we have to get a fix because it's just dripping hydraulic fluid uh, not good 
probably easy fix. Looks just, just right around there on one of the little fittings. Uh, I'll take a look at it. And you can see it's just it's just rusted up and all. We'll have to try to get that off there, clean it up, put some put some maybe plumber's tape on there. What do you guys think? Probably a pretty easy fix, really. But it it splits good. I mean, it's working. It's got a blown tire right now. We gotta get it fixed. It's it's just old and wore out, but it still does the job for the most part when everything's leaking. Uh, but yeah, I can't believe I dropped a ball like this and not have enough wood on hand uh, for at least a month. I like to have, I always like to have at least three to four rick on hand uh, just so I don't come up this situation. But we've been so busy the last six, seven months, just haven't, I just haven't made time for it, and that's just kind of part of it. Um, but now that we do got, we got about a rick stacked up over there. You can see we go by ricks in Oklahoma, and uh, most people probably go by cor uh, cords. Um, I think maybe three rig equal one cord. I'm not sure. I have to look it up again, but I think it's right around there. So, yeah, that's what we got going on now. I'll go in here and I'll show you finishing the fire up, and I hope you guys like this video. It's just, it's just me showing you the reality of living on a homestead and you got so much going on sometimes you uh neglect some certain things like splitting wood for the winter uh we burn wood for our primary heat during the winter um but if i do run out of, of wood i do have a backup uh, a wall heater that works fine but we just like saving money by burning wood because we get the wood for free um so we got we got to get back on the ball i got my brother now to help me split some of this wood and all that you can see uh, so yeah in hayden the girls are actually going to be excited when they get home because uh, they've been wanting me to build the fire for the last probably about the last week or so but just hasn't been cold enough and i didn't want to burn up all the little bit of wood i had uh, on a 40 or 50 degree night because tomorrow we have like it's going to be like 18 degrees so that's when i want to burn wood when it gets that cold um, I, I do burn in the 40s uh, but like i said i didn't have enough wood to start burning burning early yet and i'm going to show you guys uh, starting a fire in the brand new buck stove in the new house over here uh, not tonight uh, but maybe maybe here in the near future i'm definitely gonna get one going before we get moved in uh, work all that out and walk over here and see if i got a good draft going it's just so windy right now i probably won't be able to see the smoke coming out of there but i'll walk back in the house here in a second and uh really put, put some logs on there yeah it's just that's the easy way i do i build my fires i do that stack put some newspaper in there that little, little fire stars i build work awesome um, they really keep the keep it going so if you got some dry kindling i can smell the smoke it's coming you can't see it's really not putting off it's putting off they ain't putting off nothing real dirty that wood up on this pretty clean but i'm gonna give jesse a few scoops of feed oh he's got some in there come here jess jesse still got some still wet in here i need to i'm gonna have to move this feeder out of the way so he ain't walking around in the mud but yeah I'll have a I'll have an update for you guys pretty soon on the house. There's there's quite a bit uh, there's a pretty good update coming for y'all. Um, if you guys if you guys aren't uh, on my Instagram, it's keeping it Dutch with two H's. Um, I post a lot a lot of pictures on there uh, of more updates uh, than I do on YouTube because uh, the time's changed and I don't get home. I leave before it gets dark and I get home right at dark. So it's so hard to record videos for you guys. I almost have to just do it on the weekend and then post them during the weeks. Probably what I'm gonna have to start doing um, because like a lot of you guys know. I work, uh, I work uh, tens. I work four tens. So, so four days I ain't gonna be able to film. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to film some more on the weekends uh, when I can. That way I'm not going three, four days without a video for y'all. I know a lot of y'all are, are following us, but if we ain't posting, you ain't got nothing to watch on my channel. But I want, I like to post uh, every other day at least, or at least four, four or five times a week. But right now it's just so hard. Uh, let's walk in here and let's look at the fire and let's put some wood on there. There we go. It's going pretty good. Oh yeah. I'll put another piece on there and we can get some. That will get going nice and good for us. I got one of those no electric fans and once this starts getting hot that will start turning I've got several videos out on it I gotta fill this up with water if you, if you if you burn wood you guys have to have humidifier in here that way there's there's water going in there or you will get your nose will get so dried out not good you actually wake up with bloody bloody nose and all that so you have to have water on the stove or humidifier um, somewhere in the house you just have to part of it because it burns such a dry, such a dry heat, um, it takes all the moisture out of the air. So you have to, you have to burn, 
burn it with water, have water going. Let's see here. It's going pretty good. And then once I get it going, once I get it going, I'll mess with my dampers and all that. I'm usually close this about three quarters of the way, and it usually heats it up pretty good. But once I get to a certain temperature, like 600 degrees, I can shut this all off, and my catalytic, uh, my catalytic converter in there could kick on, and I could burn wood all night long. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video of us splitting a little bit of wood, uh, getting the pile built up a little bit. Not very much, like I said. I know has nothing on Wrangler Star or Outdoors with the Morgans. If you're looking for a channel um, that does a lot of outdoor stuff, Outdoors with the Morgan or is an awesome channel. Um, they always got tractor stuff. They got so much wood uh, on, on hand. It's awesome. Another channel I love watching is Old School with the Modern Twist. Uh, my buddy over there, he he does, him and his wife do all kinds of cool stuff outdoors. Um, he does a lot of, a lot of, I think he was building knives and axes and uh, he, he just does, James just does all that stuff over there. You guys go check out James. Um, old school with the modern twist, great guy. Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's been following me a long time. I've been following him for a long time. So uh, if you guys get a chance, go check out those channels. Uh, I think you guys really enjoy, enjoy, enjoy both channels. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I, I, we greatly appreciate all your support. Um, everything you guys do as far as watching our videos, liking, um, sharing, it's awesome, guys. We, we, we love all y'all, and I can't tell you thank you enough for all the support. If you guys like this one, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. You could probably hear them doing some work in the background of the new house. All right, guys, thanks for watching.